by the end of this video, I will be sharing a really cool way to learn and understand entities in a fun way. Hello everyone, welcome back. For those who are new here, I'm Umar, the founder of Growth Winner. On this channel, I share my learnings and insights on SEO. In this video, I'm going to share what are entities, how Google detects them, and are entities a ranking factor. In 2018, Google introduced BERT, which is designed to serve as a bi-directional transformer model that examines words within text by considering both left to right and right to left context. Entities are at the core of natural language processing models like BERT. So what are entities? Google defines an entity as a thing or concept that is singular, unique, well-defined and distinguishable. An entity can be an event, idea, book, person, company, place, brand, and a domain. As per NLinks, an entity designates a single well-defined thing or concept which can be linked to a knowledge graph. A knowledge graph, however, is a network of information where entities and their attributes are interlinked, showing how pieces of information are related to and affect one another. Unlike keywords, which are ultimately just a collection of letters specific to a language, an entity carries meaning and is independent of the language and of synonyms, keywords, that designators, which ultimately means if you are just translating the content from one language to another one and even using synonyms to hide that you actually copied the content, Google will recognize that. Wikipedia acts as primary trusted seed set for knowledge graph. To simplify it, for an entity to be valid, it must have its own dedicated page on Wikipedia. You can see some examples on the screen right now. I mentioned attributes of entities earlier in my knowledge graph definition. It means color is the attribute of chair. But when I say black chair, that's the value. So we have three things here, the entity itself, the attribute and the value. When combined, it's called EAV model that semantic search engines use. The important point here is there are other type of entities as well, such as you, your brand, your company, which while not having Wikipedia pages can be linked to other knowledge graphs, such as Google My Business or LinkedIn. In. However, optimizing these entities will only improve your reputation, not your SEO. This is the biggest confusion that I have seen in SEO community. What do you mean? Oh, excuse me, nothing. It's good to see you. Is that Edward Towers? So, how entities are used by search engines? Google uses a model called word to vec to break down entities, map them to a graph, and design a unique ID. In a sense, word to vec turns the language into mathematical computation, allowing Google to properly identify concepts and map them appropriately, regardless of the language, in a way traditional models simply can't. I would highly recommend you checking out my video on entity-based SEO and writing your article based on that. The link is in the description. That video will help you understand the concept of relatedness and co-occurrence. So how does Google detect entities? Number one, an NLP algorithm similar to its API that detects almost 100% of people, places and organization, but very few concepts or things. I have a full video coming out on natural language processing. Stay tuned. Number two, off page factors. This means Google considers what entities are mentioned on other pages of your website to understand the context better. This means that the context provided by the entire site helps Google figure out more precisely what each page is about. Here, the term off page doesn't mean backlinks. It simply means the other pages of the same site to provide context and to provide the meaning of the entities on a particular page. Number three, on page factors such as schema.org markup to explicitly specify the entities present in the page. Check out this visual representation by inlinks. For Google, SEO term means a lot of things. Check out this page. If you want to optimize your article for the right entities being an SEO person, you need to associate your schema with search engine optimization. Again, I have a full video on my YouTube channel on how I implement the schema. So are entities a uh, ranking factor? There are two key categories of ranking factors among many others heavily influenced by entity graph. First one is content. Keywords have historically been the judge of the relevance and quality of content. Keywords aren't dead but entities give better insights to search engines on the relationship between the words in a search. For example, let's look at the search for roofing contractor in Denver. Sure, we could create a page and stuff it 
with the key phrase, but when we talk about entity-based indexing, Google is looking for semantics around each of these entities and signals that indicate their relationships. Here is the pro tip. The categories we create to put in the menu bar for better navigation, I select the names of those categories that are most related and have Wikipedia page. For example, if you have a website around golf as a sport, you can create a category named golf balls since it has a Wikipedia page. This is not a hard and fast rule, but it worked for me, so I'm sharing it with you guys. If it worked for Perseus, it'll work for me. Second category where entity graph influences ranking factor are links. It's pretty common knowledge in SEO that not all links are created equal. A post aiming to rank for best cycling routes in Oregon needs links and references from authoritative sources on cycling, outdoor activities, and the state of Oregon in order to be really on the serve. If you want to put this strategy on steroids, optimize your guest post for the entities for the chosen topic. For example, you have an article on link building on your website, your entities would be anchor text, page rank, and no follow, etc. So if you were to build new links for that article, you would choose the title for your guest post like how to optimize anchor text for better link building results, techniques to improve your website's page rank, the impact of no follow on link juice and SEO. You may ask your writers to include the entity in the title, the first paragraph, and anchor text. This is exactly how you can ethically manipulate Google in building topically relevant backlinks to your pages. If you are looking for an agency who can help you with the backlinks, reach out to my team at Growth Winner or book a call with me. All links are in the description. Here is the cool way that I refer to in the start of the video. Google has created a game named Semantrix that can help you understand the attributes, the entities, and the values. In short, entities in a very fun way by playing games. So now you know what are entities. In the next video, I'm going to share everything about natural language processing. Smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any video of my Semantic SEO series. Thank Thank you so much. Bye bye.